how is this quarantine treating you? Day 23, I've been seeing your daily routines. Yes, that those, you post those, are, those are behind the number of actual days because I feel like I've been quarantined for probably five plus weeks or something, five weeks. Um, uh, yeah, it's, you know, uh, <laughs> fine, terrible, I don't know. It's, it's dreadful, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I prefer no quarantine. I liked right. it when I wasn't afraid to go places. These quarantine routines have been, uh, have been very enjoyable. Today you woke up at 7 a.m., ate old salty mittens. At yes. 1 p.m. you helped Delroy Lindo start a charity while he chaperones first dates on Zoom. Yep. Yep, that is accurate to my day. It reminded me of a joke on your very first album. I'm not sure if this was an ad lib that made its way onto the record or if it was part of your act at the time, but you said, like, this is my regular day. I wake up at 2 in the morning, take a two-hour run, then watch the movie Powder, drink yeah. a bottle of vermouth, <laughs> throw up, and go running again. I would talk about that being my day periodically with friends. Like, what I can't remember is, if it ever became a bit or just a bit on that album. You were such a pivotal influence on me and, and so many comedians my age. You know, when I was in college, discovering myself, coming out as a comedian, I would check your website every week. The Singing Baby, Eugene, I remember. Yes, I know. I have to find those files. But this was like before YouTube even, right? I mean, you were, you were embedding yeah. videos on your website. You were a pioneer in the video arts. Yes, yes, it's true. I did put videos up on my site, I mean, before YouTube, because... Uh, you could put yourself on the internet, but you couldn't put yourself on TV. So I would do whatever I could to sort of get out there. And I, yeah, had sort of this thing in me as a little boy uh, in Russia, a uh, picture of that singing uh, songs, singing classic rock songs. Moving from Russia as a young boy and not doing very well in school, as you mentioned in your act, reading your report cards, how did you develop? That confidence, that brashness. I don't know that I was, I don't know that I would describe it as confidence. I mean, I think that I really wanted to do stand up. And so I, uh, you know, did it like, I think the summer after high school and then throughout college and then just sort of, I, I, I think, I think what you think of as confidence, I think of maybe as tenacity. Uh, but I, I don't know. I, no, I was a sad, troubled child as probably every person was <laughs> um, until they're 53. Show Walter makes this comment in the documentary, comedians take life and throw it back at you in a way you didn't see it. They pull out the inherent absurdity of a situation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, absurdity has clearly been your trademark. I mean, it's in the title of your first album, their absurd nightclub stylings. When we live in a world that has become so irrational, so absurd itself, what is absurdity these days? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just a glass of milk. You can still joke around and make lots of comedy, um, and it can be silly. I mean, the quarantines that I do are pretty absurd, but yeah. they're also sort of, uh, they're somewhere between absurd and very accurate. So I think, like, whatever that is, is the answer, I guess, to the question, which is, yeah, you can still be absurd. It just, you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't bother making fun of, uh, like, a sort of mean-spirited, ill-informed president. Like, maybe that wouldn't be like the bit, but you can still do a silly bit. Eugene, it, it's been really a pleasure talking to you, man. And, Thank and, you so um, much for having this, me on. Thank this you this documentary, very I cannot recommend it enough. It started as a joke. Good quarantine watch. Thank you. Thank you so much. Isolate Night with Scott Rogowski, live every Sunday to Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern.